Hi there, I'm Hong Pun, Cloud Architect here at PTP. So how is AWS cost savings plans different from reserve instances? In this video, I'm going to provide you with some quick pointers on what they are, how they're different and similar, the advantages, as well as how you can get started and how PTP can help. So what are reserve instances? A reserve instance is an offering that provides you with a significant discount in comparison to on-demand rates in exchange for a one-year or three-year term commitment. There are two major types of RIs, standard RIs and convertible RIs. A standard RI offers a discount on commitment to a particular instance family, whereas convertible RIs offer the option to change instance types during the term for a lesser discount. When you do want to change the configuration, you will need to do a convertible RI exchange where you must follow a set of rules. One thing you can't change, however, is the region that is associated to. It is fixed throughout the term of the reservation. Now that you know what reserved instances are, let's take a quick look at what savings plans are. Simply put, savings plan provides the same discounts as reserved instances, but with more flexibility. You can even say this is RI 2.0. Since it is a refreshed version of reserved instances, there are two types of savings plans offering for each of the RIs. First, there is the EC2 instance savings plan, which provides savings similar to standard RIs by committing to individual instance family in a region. EC2 instance savings plans give you the flexibility to change your usage between instances within a family in that region and savings are automatically applied regardless of availability zone, size, OS, or tenancy. Then there is Compute Savings Plan, which is the updated version of convertible RIs. You keep the same level of savings, but with much more flexibility. You commit to an amount of compute usage per hour at a discounted savings plan's price, and it will get applied automatically to EC2 instance usage regardless of instance family, size, availability zone, region, OS, or tenancy. That can also apply to AWS Fargate and Lambda usage. Now that you know what they are and how they're different, Let's talk about what's staying the same. The terms are still one or three years where you have the option of paying upfront, partial, or none at all. The all upfront option provides most discount where you pay the entire term with one upfront payment. As for the partial upfront payment option, you get less discount compared to the upfront option where you make a partial upfront payment. Then the remaining balance is charged at a discounted hourly rate for the instance for the duration of the RI term, or a monthly charge of the remaining for your commitment in terms of savings plan. Finally, the no upfront payment option. This provides the least discount among the three options but it does not require any upfront payment. The remaining is just like the partial option, where it is charged a discount hourly rate for the duration of your RI term or monthly charge for your commitment in terms of the savings plan. As for overage charges, savings plans are the same as RI you will be charged at the on-demand rate if you go over your commit. Lastly, if you are using AWS organization or consolidated billing, you can purchase 
in any account within the billing family. You can also choose to restrict the benefit to only the account that purchased them. You can continue to buy and use RIs. If you have both, AWS will apply all RIs first and then apply savings plans to any instances not already covered by an RI. So far, savings plans are only for EC2, Lambda, and Fargate usages. So you might still need to get RI for other services like DynamoDB, RDS, ElastiCache, or Redshift. However, for any future purchases or as your current RIs expire, AWS suggests to sign up for savings plans for any services that offers them as they are at the same discount rate as RIs, but with extra flexibility. You can easily get started on utilizing savings plans in AWS Cost Explorer, where it will provide recommendations based on your on-demand usage. And if you need help, we here at PTP can help you navigate this cost savings journey. I would also like to mention that we offer cloud cost reduction analysis at no cost to you. A meeting with our cloud experts that can save you on average of 25% or higher. Hope you find this video useful. For more information, please visit our website at ptp.cloud where you can quickly chat with us. Thanks for joining me.